Okay, in this video we're going to show how to implement a web browser control in your Microsoft Excel workbook. I already have the developer tab set up. In case you don't have that set up, just go on and right click on the tabs. Well, towards the right of the tabs, customize quick access toolbar. Under popular check mark, show developers tab ribbon. That way you can see the Visual Basic environment and all of these controls. I'm going to go to the insert button, insert control, and select the option that says more controls. You'll see the little hammer and the wrench. Select that. When your list comes up, scroll down and look for the one that says Microsoft Web Browser. I believe that's the name. Well, let's double check. And we have Microsoft Web Browser. Go on and select it, hit OK. You'll be able to draw it onto your sheet, whatever sheet you want it to be on. And when you're in design mode, you're going to have the Microsoft Windows icon right here. But if you were to take yourself out of design mode, it's just going to be a white screen. So put us back into design mode, though. That way we can add a few buttons. First off down here, actually, now I'm going to put that here in the top. I'm going to put URL. And here I'm going to go on and put, we'll just put Google. And this is cell D2. So let's keep that in mind. And down towards the bottom, I'm going to insert a button. In case you can see the way I did that, I just went on and hit insert under ActiveX control, select the command button. I'm going to go on and right click it so I can change the properties. And I'm going to, for here, I'm going to click, I'm going to type in navigate. And I'm going to put a button right next to it. And because I want it to be the same size, I'm actually going to copy it using control C. And I'm just going to paste it again. Now, if you notice, I mean, the properties are the same. It's both the same caption, but this is command button one. This one is command button two. So both of them, if we were to double click them, it's going to take us to, to different procedures where we can type in some code. So you have command button one click and command button two click. And we'll change those right now. But first, I'm going to change the caption on the first icon. I'm going to change it to back. Okay, so I'm going to go on and double click the navigate button. And before I do that, this control right here is called Web Browser 1. So let's do this double click navigate. We're going to do Sheets and the name of the sheet down here, Sheet 1. Sheet 1 dot Web Browser 1, because that's the name of the control, dot navigate. And we're going to need to put in the link name here. So I'm just going to actually create a variable here. Let's do a call. Link name is equal to sheets, sheet one. And we said the range that we wanted to do, which is going to have the URL, is going to be D2. Let's try this out. We're going to take ourselves out of design mode and we're going to call it. We're going to click it. And there you have it, navigated to google.com. Of course, we could change that out to youtube.com. Go on and click navigate. And there you go, we have, uh, we have the web browser control working and responding to the input that we have here. So let's go on and try and work the back button. Now the web browser control has many options to choose from. I would recommend going to the Microsoft Developer Network, look at all the options and events and controls that are supported by the web browser control. In this case, the one that we're going to use right now is back. And that's going to be under methods. We're going to just use this option, go back. So it's just the object name and then go back with an open and close parentheses. So we're going to go back to Microsoft Excel and I'm going to go back into design mode, click back. I'm going to put here, just to make my life easier, I'm going to copy this code down here, paste it in here, and I'm going to just put go back, open and close parentheses, put ourselves back into operational mode. And I'm not, sure, I'm not entirely sure how going into design mode impacts the back button. So just to be on the safe side, I'm going to hit Google here, google.com. Navigate. I hit enter first and then navigate. 
So we're back at Google. Now I'm going to try to use the back button and takes us back to the previous web page. This is just a very small example of the web browser control. You may want to use a web browser control for many reasons in a, in a, in a Microsoft um, workbook. And you, you may want to have a, a worksheet, for example, that loads up a company web page for an employee when they open up the workbook, maybe a news type page for the company. Many reasons why you may want to have the web browser control again in the, in the workbook. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching.